Hi, my name is Tim, and I am a Senior Product Manager at Crystal Instruments. In this video, I would like to demonstrate some new features of markers and cursors in EDM 11.0 and show how they are useful for displaying multiple signals. This video is targeted toward users who would like to quickly display signals from multiple channels, add cursors and peak markers to their displays, and compare signals from different test runs. The signal display in EDM has two layers, the top layer is the display tab, and each tab can contain multiple display windows. There are two ways to display multiple signals in a tab. One is to display signals in a stack plot, which is a display window in stack plot mode. The other is to display one signal per plot and arrange their layout in a display tab. The advantage of displaying in the stack plot mode is that it is easy to arrange. However, the disadvantage is that there is only one screenshot of the display window in the stack plot, and when there are many signals in the plot, the details of each signal cannot be seen. Here's an example of displaying 16 signals in a stack plot in a new tab. Go to the layout menu at the top and select New Tab and Auto Power Spectra APS. On the tab layout setup, select Live Signals or Save Signals. For this demonstration, let's select Save Signals and choose one of the signal files from the drop-down menu. Next, select Stack Plot and specify the number of columns and rows. In this example, both are set to 4, but they don't have to be the same. Now, a new tab is created, and there is only one display window showing signals in stack mode. The window can be undocked and moved to another monitor, or more windows can be added to the tab without changing the layout of the stack plot. Peak markers and cursors can be added to all plots, and they move synchronously. A report of this tab can be generated, but it will show all 16 signals in one screenshot, making it difficult to see the details. Now let's look at the other way of displaying signals, displaying one signal per plot. The major advantages of this method are having a large screenshot of each display window in the report and being able to manually arrange the display layout. The disadvantage is that each display window must be configured individually. However, with the following features to be introduced, the cursor and marker functions work synchronously in multiple overlaid plots, just like in stack plots. Here's an example of displaying 16 signals and 16 plots in a new tab. Go to the layout menu at the top and select New Tab and Auto Power Spectra APS. On the tab layout setup, select Live Signals or Save Signals. For this demonstration, let's select Save Signals and choose one of the signal files from the drop-down menu. Next, select one signal per plot and specify the number of columns and rows. In this example, both are set to 4, but they don't have to be the same. Now, a new tab is created, and there are 16 plots in the tab. You can change the layout by dragging and dropping a window. When a report is created, each plot has one screenshot that shows more details. 